Hello and welcome to Girl Likes Beer podcast, irregular beer reviews, brought to you by Girl Likes Beer. We are in Warsaw, Poland, and this is episode 43, two more to go in this season. Uh, today uh, I'm reviewing a Croatian beer, first time uh, that I'm having a Croatian beer on the show, and actually uh, me having a Croatian beer. Been to Croatia, beautiful, beautiful country. I suggest you visit it so if you have a chance because it's beautiful. It's uh, sort of like Italy, but better. Uh, what am I doing? Not opening the beer yet. Um, the beer is called uh, Karlovačko, and uh, it is a lager, obviously. Uh, brought to, to me by, uh, by a friend, uh, Anya, not the same one that brought me the Belgian beers, but a different one, apparently a lot of Anyas that uh, I know. Uh, the brewery was uh, founded in 1854 uh, by a baron called uh, Nikola Vranicani, difficult name, uh, in a city called Karlovac, therefore the beer's name is Karlovačko. Uh, it's uh, the brewery today is one of the most or the most popular brewery in uh, in Croatia, uh, and as such is uh, also one of the biggest beer exporters in that country. The beer itself won uh, a uh, golden medal in the category of four and a half, five and a half percent. Uh, beers in 2005 in the uh, sort of Brewing Industry International Award. That's what the award is. We already had uh, s- these sort of type. I guess the gold medals are here. Are these sort of type beers uh, on Girl X beer. Uh, however, I cannot remember all the like beer competitions that are out there that break beers uh, that give medals to beers. to be too gentle. Let's see how this goes. Alright, so a classic lager I might say. A uh, very nice uh, head. Quite airy, I would say, uh, not as creamy as some of the last lagers I had on the show from the Carlsberg Brewery, Carlsberg Group even. Uh, very nice uh, golden color, classic, classic lager. Let's have a s- smell. Uh, okay, so what I'm getting here is a slight hoppiness and not a very strong one. It's uh, it's not a beer that wants to kick you in the gut. Uh, it's very mild, very decent. Uh, uh, I don't smell that uh, wet uh, seeds thing. Uh, I believe the word that I was looking for last time was probably skunkiness. It's because that's the word I hear other beer brewer, uh, beer bloggers, beer reviewers were using. Uh, I never really thought what that is. I mean, I get skunkiness as a, as a word as a, and as a smell. Uh, but I think it's not really what I'm getting as in those sort of green bottle beers uh, being uh, suspected to that smell. Anywho, this is slight mild, uh, mild hotness. Let's have a s- sip. So believe it or not, a beer shows no hops in taste. Maybe it shows a little, probably less than in smell. Uh, it's surprisingly caramel sprinkled with uh, no apparent bitterness. So I would say this is a light lager. Uh, I mean, it's uh, it's not very uh, strong uh, hops. I mean, not in the sense like, it's not a beer that wants to kick you in the, in the gut. 
It's a very gentle, very sublime even. Uh, I would say very woman-friendly lager, because I know many of us don't appreciate too bitter beers and too strong food taste, uh, which is good or bad. I mean, everybody likes what they like, but I would say uh, trying to experiment with beers for girls wouldn't be bad. Just to taste. All I'm saying. Uh, Yes, uh, almost no bitterness, caramel, it uh, goes like in the front uh, center, uh, it's not the uh, beginning of the uh, taste, not back end, it's uh, front and center, it's the caramel the component, not very strong, but uh, it is there. Uh, so, as surprising as the caramel part is, uh, I think four beer mugs were, would work uh, for me for this beer. Uh, it's an interesting uh, proposition as for lager. I mean, I've seen a lot of them this season and also in past seasons. Uh, but this one kind of surprised me. I thought it would be just straight, oh, a little, little hops, a little bitterness. But there's something more to that beer, so. If you can get if you can get it, uh, give it a try. Uh, if you can get it in Croatia, that's even better. Because imagine yourself having this little friend here over uh, uh, in a in a hotel room or on a on a beach overlooking the uh, the Adriatic. Nice time. Uh, okay, nah, that's it for the review. Uh, follow me on uh, Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to the Vimeo videos, just a little ad there, uh, and uh, I'll see you in the two final episodes uh, of Girl Likes Beer Podcast in Season 3. Have a beer, save the economy!